Hello everyone, this video I will show you how to use case 868 E16T board so that you can use the Tuya application. So when you get this board, the first day, uh, I will show you how to step by step uh, use by this uh, Tuya application. So at the first, uh, you can see this is hardware board and uh, this really we have used the first config is 12 volts of the coin. But if you want to use that this board work with 24 volt DC, you just replace this omelon relay because that is removable. So you can see this board I have used 12 volt and this board I have used 24 volt. So you can see where we can see the relay voltage that have print the 24 volt. So this board can work for the 24. And if you want this board to work with 12 volt, so you can see uh, this board, so you can see this board, the test print on the relay is 12 volt. So just to replace this relay, we use different voltage. Okay, this is the hardware you need to prepare. That's the first, is the correct relay. And the second, because we use this Tuya module by this Wi-Fi, you need to install this Wi-Fi antenna and make sure that is an IPX cable have connect with this Wi-Fi module, the Tuya Wi-Fi module and this PCB. Because uh, this cable is extended the Wi-Fi signal to this PCB board so that you can use this Wi-Fi antenna or you can use some extend uh, so, so such as a 1 meter or 3 meter Wi-Fi antenna just uh, connect to this SMA socket. So that will be easy to extend your Wi-Fi signal. Okay, now we can connect with this power supply. I have used 12 watt, so I have used a 12 watt power supply. So we can power on, then you can see the red LED power LED is on. Now you can use this button, that is digital input, you can triangle the relay directly. So you can see I can click this button, yes, that is button 1, input 1, that is this relay, on, off, on and off. And triangle by, by this menu control button, so you can see here, this is 16 channel, this relay, on and off. So you can connect with this terminal to your extend a button or push button or momentary switch or wall switch just connect to this terminal okay this is for manually control button so that if your application or internet is broken so you can also use this to turn on and turn off usually on off uh, by locally now we can see how to configure the Tuya application and here I have a button you can see this is a this is a button that for configure Tuya Wi-Fi signal. So we can hold on until this red LED is blink. So you can see I can open this Tuya application and that will auto detect the E16T board that is found. So we can just click add. And that will show you have configured the Wi-Fi, load SSID and the password. So you just click next, and now we just wait for a moment. That will pending, and this is network LD indicate. Okay, you can see this Alexa is detect, and this is added successfully. And this time you can see the red LED is not blink, it's always on. So that means the Wi-Fi have configured successfully. And you just click down. And here you can see that E16T board, this is control panel have used by the Tuya application. So now you can see I can turn on relay 1. You can see here I can turn off relay 1, turn on relay 2, and then turn off relay 2. So you can see I can also use this, that is all, all off and all on. So you can see I can click, that is all on, and this is feedback uh, from the board, and I click this button, 
that is all off. So you can see I can also click this button that is controlling the 16 channel relay. You can see here that is 16 channel relay. Click uh, the board is off. So the two year application is off. I click again that will be on. So the application will update the state. And so I can turn off and turn on and turn off and turn on. So you can use this manual country button and the two-year application at the same time. So this is how to use uh, E16T board uh, with the, work with the two-year application. Okay, thanks for watching.